African Pygmy Hedgehog The African Pygmy Hedgehog, a hybrid of the white-bellied and Algerian hedgehog, is the most popular type of domestic hedgehog in the world. The practice of domestication of hedgehogs and their keeping as pets began in the 80s of the last century, which is relatively recent for animal husbandry. African, like all other species of hedgehogs, are nocturnal, most active in the pre-dawn hours, and sleep the rest of the day. Description The African hedgehog is a small mammal with a sharp snout, short legs and a back covered with needles ranging from 0.5 to 1.5 cm long. It weighs 250 to 600 grams and averages about 21 cm in length. They usually have dark ears and muzzles, and their bodies can be gray, brown, or white with patches of the same color. The underside of the abdomen is white and covered with white fur. African urchins can exhibit albinism, with a lack of pigmentation resulting in completely white coloration and pink eyes. Africans have very poor eyesight and rely more on their sense of smell. How to keep In the wild, a hedgehog walks tens of kilometers every night. With this in mind, the hedgehog needs as much space as possible. Without enough space, the hedgehog will show signs of depression such as excessive sleep, refusal to eat, repetitive behaviors, and self-destruction. The recommended size of the cage, or room in which they are contained, should be at least half a square meter. Tiered cages, designed for ferrets or rabbits, provide the hedgehog with more space to explore without taking up extra space, but when using multiple levels, keep in mind that the hedgehog has poor eyesight, it can easily climb, but it is difficult to descend and often seems like they do not understand the height, so it is highly recommended to completely close the ramps and levels to prevent falls. Some people use large glass tanks, but they can be heavy, inconvenient to clean, and poorly ventilated. Typical containment cages are very large plastic boxes, they are cheap, easy to clean and versatile, but they must be of considerable size. The most preferred and safe material for covering the sleeping area is polyester. It does not tear, hedgehogs love to rummage in an attempt to hide before going to bed and is easy to clean in the washing machine. It is known that the threads from which other fabrics, cotton, linen, are woven are wound around the legs of hedgehogs, causing amputations, so any rubbing tissue that comes into contact with the hedgehog should be carefully inspected to avoid problems. Sawdust is also a popular bedding for a cage, and it is not recommended to use pine and cedar, as they contain oils that are harmful to the lungs and skin of the hedgehog. Other sawdust can be dangerous due to its dust content and tendency to accumulate on the skin, while others can even get stuck in the hedgehog's genitals. Careful research is needed before using unusual bedding materials. Because of the small size of the hedgehogs, obesity is a very dangerous problem and they need to exercise a lot to avoid liver problems due to being overweight. To provide the African hedgehog with the necessary loads, it is necessary to equip the cage with a running wheel. When choosing a wheel, look for solid track designs. If you use an open wire wheel, the hedgehog will constantly fall through the bars and can break your leg. Crossbar wheels can also cause head injuries, as hedgehogs are known to look to the sides while driving. For this reason, bucket wheels are preferred by many hedgehog owners and recommended by most breeders. For those who want to experiment and love to work with their hands, DIY kits are available. African hedgehogs are very active animals and love to play. The most popular and safe toys for them are various types of rolling balls, small plush toys, and various boxes houses for shelter. The temperature in the aviary should be maintained at 22-27 degrees Celsius, otherwise the hedgehog will try to hibernate. This is most easily achieved with a suitable thermostat and a ceramic lamp that emits only heat, no light. In the case of African pygmy hedgehogs, it is very important to prevent them from hibernation because, unlike European ones, this is not typical for them and leads to death. If you notice that your hedgehog is lazy and sleeps more than usual, and if he has a cold stomach, immediately warm him by placing him on his stomach so that he sleeps and gradually warms up. Do not bathe him, as sharp heating with hot water in a state of hypothermia is extremely dangerous for a hedgehog as well as for humans. Don't use heating pads for the same reason. Instead, hug him and wrap him in a blanket. Then increase the temperature in the cage, and it is important to monitor it for at least a few days. Food and Feeding being insectivorous, hedgehogs need a diet high in protein and low in fat. Never give milk to your hedgehog because it causes diarrhea, dehydration, and death. The same goes for wild European hedgehogs that we meet on the street. The hedgehog's body cannot process milk. They also need chitin, which comes from the exoskeleton of insects, most commonly locusts and crickets. There are foods specially prepared for hedgehogs and insectivores, including foods made from insect parts such as canned food. Nutrient powders are also available for sprinkling with other feed containing chitin and other nutrients. 
It is very important to always read food packaging labels to make sure they are protein-based and not carbohydrate-based. Foods containing wheat, corn, potatoes or peas are not recommended. Many kennels feed small hedgehogs cat food, which is not wrong if it does not contain carbohydrate-rich foods. The most important thing in the composition is that the first ingredient should be meat, preferably chicken, and the content of pure fat should not exceed 15%, protein 32-35%. African urchins can also eat homemade food such as boiled chicken, turkey, beef, or pork in moderation due to their fat content, cooked without any spices. Hedgehogs often eat small amounts of vegetables and rarely get fruit. Dairy products, nuts, seafood and some others should be excluded from the diet. A varied diet is very important for this type of hedgehog, as they are very often obese. Hedgehogs vary in size, so there is no target mass for a hedgehog, but if it can no longer completely curl up into a ball, this is a clear sign of obesity diseases. Hedgehogs are predisposed to many diseases, including cancer and wobbly hedgehog syndrome, WHS. Some WHS symptoms are similar to those of multiple sclerosis in humans, so the condition of animals can be compared to that experienced by patients with multiple sclerosis. These include the inability to move normally, tremors of the limbs, staggering while walking, etc. A possible cause of WHS is a genetic defect that allows the virus to attack the hedgehog's nervous system. The nose can show a variety of alarming symptoms, especially respiratory conditions such as pneumonia. In many cases, the form of pneumonia that affects hedgehogs is bacterial in nature. Antibiotics can be very beneficial if they act quickly. Signs observed include blistering, excessive mucus production, or persistent sneezing. Legal status. Most countries allow African pygmy hedgehogs to be kept, but some U.S. states and Canadian municipalities require a license to breed legally. These restrictions could have come into force due to the ability of some species of hedgehogs to carry the FMD virus, a highly contagious disease of cloven-hoofed animals. In most European countries, there are no such restrictions, except Italy. Myths, legends and facts about hedgehogs. The first myth. A hedgehog drinks milk from a saucer, stop. Let's leave that to the writers and animators. An adult African pygmy hedgehog is categorically lactose intolerant. Try to feed him like in a cartoon, and in the mild case, you will get off with diarrhea, and in the worst case, gastrointestinal diseases and even death. Dairy products, except for mother's milk during the sucking period, are contraindicated for a hedgehog. The second myth. The hedgehog loves apples and mushrooms. He carries them on his pins and supplies them. Giving fruit to hedgehogs can and should be, it is a source of vitamins, vegetable fiber and just a deliciously tasty treat but there can be no talk of any mushrooms or dried fruits. And yet, in any case, do not string different objects on the hedgehog's needles. The hedgehog's needles are not turtle shells. They really serve the hedgehog for self-defense, but they are not its privilege or the rarest species feature. Porcupine and echidna and other animals have needles. A hedgehog needle is a keratinized epidermis, the same as hair or nails, only a slightly different structure. Inside, the needles are hollow, contain transverse partitions, and are constantly renewed, not in the form of intense malting, but constantly, throughout the year, one to two needles at a time. The hedgehog's needles in no way negate the presence of a coat, the hedgehog is all of fur, thin, delicate, short hairs are also found between the needles. In the wild, you can find a hedgehog with leaves impaled on needles. Most likely, they accidentally hit him on his back when he was lying on the ground or curled up in a ball. By the way, special muscles are responsible for the hedgehog's ability to curl up. Apparently, this touching side of a hedgehog with leaves gave rise to so many literary delusions. But there is one interesting fact that cannot be dismissed. A lot of eyewitness accounts constantly discovering hedgehogs with butts on their backs. Why do hedgehogs carry this filth on themselves? There are two versions, first. The hedgehog just lives in the forest where there are too many cigarette butts. Second. Hedgehogs deliberately look for cigarette butts and lie in them, using tobacco and other flavors, resins and other harmful chemistry as antiparasitic drugs. In any case, you cannot do this with a domestic hedgehog. To avoid skin parasites and worms, take a hedgehog from a good nursery, and then, after a couple of months, be sure to take it to a veterinarian for examination. It is not necessary to poison a small tender crumb with any killer drugs, but if the hedgehog is already an adult, he may need prevention. The third myth. To eat the hedgehog, the fox pushes it into the stream, after which it turns around. Perhaps there were such cases in the wild. However, a predator will hardly be able to use such a dubious and laborious hunting process unless it is very hungry. Again, don't try it at home. 
There are many touching videos on the internet with a hedgehog bathing in a bath, as long as his strength allows him to stay on the water, experiencing enormous stress. Indeed, in the wild, hedgehogs develop good speed when moving and also jump and swim beautifully, but does a pet need this? Not a single pet, with rare exceptions, should be bathed for fun, it takes care of its skin and hair on its own. It is worth washing a hedgehog only if it has fallen into the mud or got into something sticky, etc. Hedgehogs not only lick their fur, some sources indicate that hedgehogs prefer dry baths rather than water procedures. For these purposes, special bathing sand from a pet store and containers for chinchillas or digas are suitable. The fourth myth, the hedgehog will catch all the mice and rats. Perhaps this is true for the common hedgehog, the African pygmy hedgehog is much smaller, so it will not replace your mouse catcher. Purchasing your African pygmy hedgehog. The average price can range anywhere from 75 to 250 US dollars. Look for an animal with bright eyes, clear nostrils, and healthy skin, quills, and fur.